Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. Uh, so today is going to be a weird day because you're not really going to get a kind of day of me going about my duties because to be honest I just want to lie in bed all day. I'm going for a shower in a minute but I'm just kind of feeling a bit kind of like leave me alone today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shower and then um, the next clip you'll see is me talking about my tattoo which for you guys I will have got three and a half hours ago. It's still a whole day away and a half for me um so yeah um it's fine it's cool i've got this yay can you tell i'm actually shitting bricks it's not the tattoo itself it's the fact that i had um oh god i've got like a spot fuck um i had a panic attack walking up buchanan street and i still like get residual anxiety about walking up there and I have to walk up that whole big street to get to my tattoo. Um, my tattoo place is Forevermore Tattoo, um, who I have gone to the last time I went and got a tattoo. Uh, I went to Land Ahoy the time before that, and then I was in Spain the time before that. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's a very important tattoo, hence why the next clip will be me talking about said important tattoo. So if you're triggered by mentions of self-harm, click out this video now. Because the next clip you'll see is me talking about the reasons behind my tattoo. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So, enjoy that. I've been trying to film this for an hour now. I've had my cry. We're good. Right, okay, let's talk about this tattoo. So, it says clean and it's got a daisy. The clean comes from a song by Taylor Swift of 1989, which says, 10 months sober, I must admit, just because you're clean don't mean you don't miss it. 10 months older... I won't give in. Now that I'm clean, I'm never going to risk it. So, 10 months. The day you watch this is my 10 month anniversary of stopping self-harming. Now, you might think, hmm, okay, when did you start? Seven years ago. And this is the longest I've ever gone without self-harming. So, to me, this is a very poignant, actually, like, nine months is the longest, but you know what I mean. Um, Yeah, so this is really poignant to me to be like, yes, right, okay, this is a milestone in my life that needs to be captured in a tattoo. And it's important, especially the fact I still have a scar from self-harming that is very poignant, that has been there for six years, that I would like to have a tattoo around so that I, I know that, like, at one point, can I just make a point, I, I was going to get the dark mark to cover all my tattoos, but I thought that wasn't going to work as well as the clean does. Clean works better. Um. So, yeah, that was a very poignant thing that I want to get a tattoo of. And um, getting it at this point in my life, especially the fact that when I was younger, I made a video and it was a goodbye video because I wasn't going to make it to 21. I'm now 23. I'm so proud of myself. And you know something? Don't wait for someone else to be proud of you. Make yourself proud. All I want to say in that matter. Just make yourself proud. That's not being selfish. That's self-love. Be proud of yourself. For the little... You got out of bed today? You got out of bed. Well done. Proud of you. That's not patronising. That's you saying to yourself, do you know what? I may have slipped up yesterday, but today I turned it around. I got out of bed. I did the washing. I washed my face. I did my teeth. I got dressed. Yes. Thank yourself. Thank yourself for everything you do because don't wait for somebody else to do it. Don't, because it feels false. Thank yourself. Be proud of yourself. Self-love. The fact I can actually sit here and talk about self-love and mean it in the sense of I love myself. I find it hard to do it. You can ask anybody. I do find it hard to do it. But this tattoo is a part of my self-love and saying that I love tattoos. But this is me saying that you love yourself more and starting this shit again. And that's what I'm going to do. But <clears throat> a big point in my life that really sparked the depression um, was my adoption. And I just want to thank some people for that. Because I want to thank actually everyone that was in my year for within my adoption. I think I just want to do a couple of thank yous just now. Because I think that's all you need to know about my tattoo. And that's all you need to know. And I think it's important that you know that. 
that um I'm very proud of myself and that I've got to a point where I'm happy and I can talk about it now. I don't feel as as ashamed. But when it comes to my adoption, I want to thank a couple of people that I think really helped. And I want to make a point about rumours because I think I think what happened to me really helped a lot of people because I think people realised that rumours aren't the best thing and sometimes they turn out to be true and they turn out to have an effect. And I think that was what a lot of people didn't realise, especially people that didn't go to June Foot. I don't think a lot of people realise what the effect, the adoption and finding out that way had on me. But you know something? It wouldn't, it wouldn't have... I'm glad it happened. I'm glad it happened the way it happened. And I'm glad I had a support system behind me and I'm glad that everybody in that year that was on that playground and that knew showered me with cards and presents and love and I thank every single one of you for that because I don't forget that I don't forget the cards I have all the cards I still have them in a box in my room and I still look at them from time to time because I don't care if you were one of the people that spread the rumour I don't care if you were the instigator I don't give a fuck every single one of you that was in my class rallied around the day after when we realised just what it was and you for have been forgiven everyone has been forgiven for years and I've never really publicly said that and I really should and I really should put this out there that I was a kid and I didn't really the reason I pushed everyone away the reason I held on to it was because I needed a reason to prove the way I felt was real and I don't need that anymore because I've been diagnosed and I know it's not just the adoption. There's a lot of other things that are attributing factors to what, to why I'm depressed and to why I have anxiety. There's a lot of things that attribute to that. But the reason I held so many grudges around my adoption was because I needed something that was classed as traumatic to hold on to to prove that the way I felt was real. Whereas now I know the way I do feel is valid. Even if nothing bad has happened to you in life, it could be the smallest thing. It could just be a chemical imbalance. You don't have to justify why you have depression if you've been diagnosed. And if you really think you have depression, you do not need to explain it and, you know, push yourself to the limits where you have to explain it to every single person. This is more just a note to my younger self. I found out it was adopted it was traumatic to me it probably sparked my depression <laughs> that's okay there you go that's okay like now I know and I wouldn't be the person I am today if that hadn't happened to me and yes it was traumatic yes I wish I hadn't found out in that way but the more I think about it the more I realize that it was a kind of turning point in my life and it was a moment that has shaped me for, and now I have no regrets and I think that it ha what what it is what it is to quote my foot tattoo um but yeah no and I want to give a huge humongous big thank you to certain people in my life to Fern Beth and Leah for being there since 2000 2003 slash 4 and 2011 um but Fern and I met I've known her 18 years we're childhood best friends Beth came into my life when she moved to air um Leah, fifth year, Miss Duncan's, every single one of them has stuck by me in the past uh, for things that I needed. Um, Fern's been there through everything. Um, Beth was there after the aftermath of Zante and also my adoption, she was there for me with that. Leah has just stuck by me no matter what, especially when I was really, really depressed in 2011 and I was just trying to learn and navigate everything that was happening um moving on a humongous big thank you to maddie um who i met in 2012 without her i don't know i would have had the confidence uh to come out and be the pansexual angel that i am um i just i'm so lucky to have her and i love you so much and um yeah i'm just very lucky to have her and we're at a point where um we helped each other through a lot and we've had difficult times, but um, we've now come to a point where we we can un we're at a point we're at a good point. I'm seeing her on the twenty ninth of December. I'm so excited. Then there's Emma, 
boy day. I love you to the ends of the earth. Um, I met her in 2014 when I went to read care and um, she was there for me when my grand passed away and I was working myself to the literal bone to get the showcase running, to get the Oscars running, to be Verity and find me. I was working myself to the bone and my I found my birth mum that year and without Emma by my side I don't think I would have got through it and a huge thank you to Millie who I met in 2016 she was my university pal she's got me through the last three years of university and I've helped her in her ways as well and I'm so glad thankful for her and finally to Sam listen Kira thank you so much um for everything you guys have done since the start of the year um the fact you are only text away means the world and the memes the memes I get from you guys just make my day every day so thank you and every single one of the people I mentioned know about my tattoo and none of them have said mm, I don't know about that idea every single one of them has been behind me for the whole tattoo and that translates to me that they're behind me with everything so thank you to every single one of you um yeah I love every single one of you so much and I'm sorry that this vlog has been a wee bit of a downer but I needed to explain this and I needed to get this out um I will leave links down below if you guys are struggling with self-harm depression anxiety anything like that there is links there is phone numbers I'll leave them down below I always do that if I'm doing a video that's mainly centered on mental health I always put the links down below because I think they're important um so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm sorry as I said it was a bit of a downer but um, join me tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 11 when you can see me get a tattoo! I'm now excited. Now that I've done about eight of these, I was really nervous and really anxious about my tattoo and I was actually contemplating not getting it and cancelling. But now I'm so freaking buzzing because I love getting tattoos. So I'm so excited. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 11. See you then. Bye!